But if you're feeling way down low, tune into the Chris Harper Show. Everything's gonna fall right into place. What's up, you guys? It has been a long time, like three months long time. And uh, I have several reasons, but I'm not making excuses for why I haven't been on the water. This is one of them. Finally got the trailer uh, at least um, functional. And I uh, just uh, finished up the prototype version of my battery box. And uh, I got a little bit more work to do on that. So anyway, a lot of things keep me off the water. But today I was determined to go. A good friend and also a fellow YouTuber decided that he was going today too. And I said, hey man, let's go catch some redfish. So Brian and Merritt and I decided to go fishing. Anyway, we did pretty good today. So check out this footage. What's up everybody? We are going gorilla style today. Got the chesty mount, no mic, because I forgot everything at home. The water is high, it is muddy, and it is fresh. It, uh, it seems to be my personal opinion that up here the redfish don't seem to mind that that much, so let's go catch some. You know, Brian and I were just talking about not having caught a fish in 2018. I just realized I haven't. This will be uh, my first, not only first redfish of 2018, but first fish period. I don't know if I remember how to do this fishing thing. Although I do appreciate you subscribers for hanging tight and not unsubbing just because I haven't thrown up a video in a couple months. Hey, there he is. We're both hung up. <laughs> Little rat. He actually might keep, but no, he's about 15. All right. Well, folks, there's the first fish, 2018, and uh, I might. Uh, let's just say I might wish that he was a little bigger, but honestly, I'm kind of glad that he's just a little beautiful guy. Look how light colored these guys are because the water's so stained. All right, buddy, let's get you back in the water. All right, let's see if we can go catch some of his uh, big brothers. Hey, there's another one. <laughs> As I was standing up, that's a little better fish, I think. goodness maybe not too big he just thinks he is come on buddy I don't think I have him hooked very well oh yeah he's better the first keeper of the day ah you're getting me wet dude Okay, come on. He ain't done. I brought a net, but... I don't really feel like using it today. All right. A little better fish. What'd I say? 19 or 20. He's 20 right on the back. Sweet. Ah, I just missed a fish. There's a point, and then there's a pocket right next to it. That's Redfish 101. And I can smell Steamboat Bills cooking them crawfish. Oh, man. I got, got to fix what I was trying to get the slack out. <laughs> and I lost him trying to move my rudder and that's when he hit couldn't set the hook confidence is key you guys on a day like today where they're not just absolutely tearing it up you got to know that you're going to catch a fish but i'm not going to catch a fish if it keeps doing this the wrong size hook i guess so you got to know that that's going to be a fish right there on that point 
because otherwise your heart's not in it. You're not going to retrieve the bait the way that you should. You're not going to get as many bites. Told you. what I tell you? What did I tell you? Now, if I could only set the hook on that fish, this point right here always holds fish. Now, I've landed two fish and I've missed four. It would be easy to lose my confidence. But what I need to do is continue with this pattern, all right? These fish are on points with moving current, pretty standard redfish pattern, pretty tight to the shoreline, but not super tight. They're kind of where it drops off into uh, about two and a half feet of water. So I can just apply that pattern and I know that I'm gonna have some luck. All right, guys, I'm about 100 yards from the spot where the Chris Harper Show all started. That's where I caught my first redfish on the GoPro. Let's see if we can reenact that event over a year later. And if I would not have cast straight onto this grassy island, I might have caught a fish on this point. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, never mind what I just said. <laughs> Ended up getting one anyway. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. That's funny. Well, there's number three. He's probably a keeper. I'm going to go let Brian measure him and see if he wants to keep him. He's about 16 and a half, I think. Maybe 17. another one now this is the exact spot that I caught the first redfish on a GoPro oh man this is fun oh he's a better fish than I thought he was it's another keeper if he stays on he's not hooked very well hey. Bring that to Brian. This appears to be the magic spot. Ah, the wind. There's always a fish right in there. What I tell you? <laughs> I said there's always a fish. <laughs> always. I missed him earlier coming through. <laughs> All right, let me get out of there just in case there's some more. He might keep. Yeah. He's all tangled up. Come on. My goodness, you have tangled yourself. All right. There's another one. I think that's number four. I don't know. You got to keep track for me. <laughs> goodness gracious, it's windy. I mean, he, these guys are like cutting flips. Tangled himself all up. So it's just a law of percentages, people. I mean, look at this. Look at this huge open area right here. Water's coming this way. Bait's going this way. It funnels in. There's going to be something here waiting to eat. I mean, it's just such a basic thing. You know, I mean, throw it out there really. Hey, Brian's got a good one. Up, oh. <laughs> little rat. It'll pull. It's a gold floating rattle trap. Yeah, got the black top on it. Oh yeah, 
Gold and black. Can't beat that for redfish. There we go. Oh no, I'm tangled up. <laughs> and I'm around the tree. Wait, no, it, just, it start, start swimming. I'm not hung up. No way. <laughs> I'm like, this is big, whatever this is. Nice. I think he's got to be pushing like eight pounds, huh? Yeah. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Seven point. A little over seven. There you go. There's one. He's not gonna keep, but he's pretty. Come here, I wanna get a look at you. About 13 inches. Beautiful fish. There you go. Right over here. So it's a smaller bait. Got to put this thing away. Go for something like this. See all these glass minnows? There's a better fish feeding on these glass minnows. A little better than the last one anyway. That's probably number five for my limit. Yeah, it's about 17. Hold him for Brian. He'll settle down. I'm sure I can catch more fish right here. Well, my hunch paid off. I'm in the very corner back here, this windblown area, and all the small bait is stacked up. And even with my little squeaky reel, catching fish. Well, as luck would have it, I just changed my battery, but I caught a good one before that, <laughs> as you can see. So just wave Brian over and we're going to try to catch some more of these. They're schooled up. You want this good one? I'll just throw back the, the little guy. Okay, little guy. You get a pass. There's another one. Alright, now we're just having fun. 
Come on back over here. These guys are like spinning around in circles and they're all tangling themselves. I've never done that so many times in a day. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the third one. Right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful. There you go. One of my favorite ways to catch redfish in the early spring is windblown shorelines. Mainly because I don't have to jockey for position. I can just kind of hang out right here. The worst thing is you got to have deep enough water to be able to throw a quarter ounce jig head so you're not constantly backlashing with an eighth ounce jig head. Just can't cast it far enough. Or at least I can't. There's another one. <laughs> These little rats are schooled up. Every now and again there's a, a better fish in here. Oh, he got a bunch of spots. He annihilated it. One, two, three, four, five. side oh goodness let's get you back in the water quick he'll be all right there's another one another little bitty guy well, he might be a little better than the last one a little bit He would actually be a keeper. Yo, feisty. Goodness gracious, slow down. Beautiful fish. All right, there you go. Okay, I've lost count. It's been a ton of fun though. It's just now a bit after noon and I did not eat breakfast, so I have to leave pretty soon. I'm hungry. Oh, there's some over there too. You can just see them working this windblown shoreline and busting the bait that's been blown straight to them. It's like a buffet. another one I thought I was on the bottom <laughs> oh these reds are fun man it's purple that's a purple fish geez they are just annihilating this bait another little rat that's a pretty good fish so these fish might not be giants back here but we've been averaging about 19 20 inches on our keepers there's one in there that's about 17 and a half but there's also one that's about 22 or 23 the others were right on 19 and 20 inches and lots and lots and lots of 13 and 14 inch fish so next year, these guys are going to be the same fish that we've been catching and keeping today. There's one. Ah, got off at the boat. Yep. Ah, there he is. Ah. <laughs> Two casts in a row, but. Missed them both. I think it's going to be my last cast. Water warmed up to almost 70 degrees, it looks like. Ah, yeah. It's been a long time since I've been out here, you guys. It's been fun, though, fishing with Brian Demerit from Dim Rats Kayak, and that's the name of the YouTube channel, right? Check me out. Dim so Rats you guys Kayak. can go check it out. I watch his channel. 
We actually catch fish in this video. Hey, there you go. <laughs> hey, I'm just happy to be out here, you guys. Uh, it's been since mid-December since I've been on the water, and it's so good to be out here. Whether we catch fish or not, we did catch some good fish. Uh, it was about a 20 inch average or so, I think, on the uh, 19, 20 inch average for redfish. Caught a bunch of rats there at the end. That was a good time. The CPR tournament starts very soon, like as in next week, and it's gonna be bass. And we're taking a group trip up to Toledo next week, so make sure you check out that video. Check out Brian's channel. And as always, if you like these videos, why don't you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it, and we'll see you right here next time on The Chris Harper Show. Y'all have a great day. Oh, it's good to be back on the water.